Tori, thank you so much for coming in to Lincoln today. I can't wait to share with you all the things that we're going to be talking about with the Capital Project. All those things that if we can get out the vote on December 18th to make sure that we have some new areas for our students so that all of our students can take pride in coming to our school each and every day. Let me show you the way. All right, Tori, so let's go look at the locker rooms. Well, as a volleyball player, I'm... I'm very familiar with uh, how bad the locker rooms need to be up I bet, so. I bet, absolutely. And in fact, we have some classrooms down here that really, um, as that construction is going to be done, it's really going to be helpful to them as well. So not just the locker room itself, but really sort of these classrooms leading up to it. Because as you know, it can get a little stinky in there. <laughs> So as you can smell, Tori, even though the video might not show that, um, sort of that odor that they're going to be taking away. And like I said, that goes right into our classrooms where students are learning. So that's going to be a big piece. But also, as you can see, these lockers here, many of them are rusted and sort of they aren't able to really lock because of the way they are. And again, it's not just about what we're doing for our students here as Oswego, but also for all those other student athletes that are coming into our buildings. We want them to be excited about the events that they come to see here. So here, Tori, is in a classroom this is just an example and we have some other classrooms as well where we're really starting to see that some of these tiles are getting old and so we want to make sure that we're making sure that when kids are here and they're learning that they really are in a space that they know that is safe and so because as you can see it's been boarded up we don't always know if that's safe and we certainly don't want some of these ceiling tiles to be falling down on the children when they're learning. Mrs. Shore, thank you so much for showing us to your building. Sure, and I really appreciate, Tori, you coming in and really taking time to look at all those different pieces that I know with that vote that we're going to have on December 18th, right? For more information, please remember to visit our Swigo City School District website. And also remember to vote on December 18th. For WBUC, this is Tori Tripp signing off.